One of the limitations of Friedel-Crafts alkylation reactions is that the carbocations that are active electrophile during the reaction are prone to their normal rearrangements, uh, such as rearrangements via 1,2 hydride or a 1,2 alkyl shift. Let's take a look at alkylation of isopropyl benzene with 1-chloropropane. First, alkyl chloride undergoes reaction with aluminum chloride catalyst by forming a carbocation. The two electrons from the carbon chlorine band go onto the empty p orbital on aluminum, forming a carbocation at the primary carbon. So we have carbons 1, 2, and 3. And I have two hydrogen atoms since I lost the chloride. And I also have two hydrogen atoms next door at the secondary carbon. Primary carbocation is very unstable. And if there is a more highly substituted carbon next door with hydrogens or alkyl groups, that will um, result in carbocation rearrangement from the less to the more stable carbocation. So we have a 1,2 hydride shift in this example. 1,2 hydride shift. So carbon hydrogen bond will break homolytically, heterolytically, and two electrons from the carbon hydrogen bond will move next door to the carbocation resulting in formation of the more stable secondary carbocation. Here is our secondary carbocation. And since intramolecular processes are more facile than intermolecular ones, this carbocation rearrangement occurs more readily than the subsequent nucleophilic attack by the benzene ring. So now we have prepared our electrophile, secondary carbocation. Let's take a look at our substrate. We have isopropyl benzene, which will direct subsequent substitution to the para position owing to the steric hindrance at the ortho carbon. So there is some steric hindrance preventing electrophile from approaching the ortho position. And therefore, this is the pi bond that is the nucleophilic site during this reaction. Let's go ahead and show nucleophilic attack from the pi band of the benzene ring onto the carbocation. This will lead to, form to formation of the wellant intermediate. We have our benzene ring with the isopropyl substituent. The two carbon atoms that are undergoing change are ortho uh, sorry, para and metacarbons right here where the double bond was. So we draw the relevant hydrogen atoms. Since nothing is attaching to the metacarbon, we just have its original hydrogen here. And para carbon also has the hydrogen, and now it also has the isopropyl group. So the point of attachment between the benzene ring and this carbocation is carbon number two. So this is our new sigma bond right here. And this carbon has a full positive charge. That's our carbocation in the wellant intermediate. Next, we deprotonate the ring. We have our aluminum tetrachloride ion, which will act as base. We'll deprotonate, remove the hydrogen here, and restore the aromatic character of the ring. The product, therefore, is isopropyl benzene with another isopropyl group at the para position. The product, therefore, is para diisopropyl benzene group.